Matthew chapter 13 verse 10 Then the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Shalom, all praises, glories, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Akakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of great Muslim who have told me this truth, as well as men of like mind. Shalom, wa kasa to the elect of the nation of Israel, whom are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and the Israelite foreigners that have the appearance of the other heathen nations, but are Israelites according to the seed line of your forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom are scattered here in America, Babylon the Great, and abroad. To you I say Shalom, and Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Ratazah. This lesson is edifying. Now in today's lesson, we will expand upon this article uploaded by the Washington Post, entitled, This is not the end of the world according to Christians who study the end of the world, published by Julie Zuzmer and Sarah Pulliam Bailey on March 17th at approximately 2.07 p.m. Eastern. And this is not the end of the world, according to Christians who study the end of the world. Now, clearly, Christians, so-called Christians that say that we are not in the times and where the world will end are delusional. Okay? But this is not the end yet. And now, what do I mean by this is not the end yet? I mean that even though we are in the end of the world, in the times of the end of the world, as our Lord Yahweh Shai had left us with clues to gauge when we will be at the end of the world, yet the end is not yet, is because there are certain prophecies that have to be fulfilled first such as the mandating of the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. And after the RFID microchip is mandated, then the third world's woe will initiate on a larger scale. And then once that happens, that's when our Lord is going to make his second return to deliver the elect and to destroy the kingdom of the wicked and who is the wicked the wicked pursuant to the book of malachi chapter 1 verse 4 is the biblical red hebrew edomites which today they are known as a so-called caucasian race all right so this statement this is not the end of the world is false. We are in times of the end of the world, but the end is not yet. Okay? As a matter of fact, the latter days began when our Lord Yahweh Shai came on the scene 2,000 years ago. Okay? Now let's read the article. Chuck Pierce's son was concerned like a lot of other people looking out on a world of rams ransacked grocery stores and canceled sports seasons and eerie lines of people standing six feet apart from one another. So he asks his dad, Is this the end of the is this the end of the world? That's a question you can ask when you have a dad who calls himself an apostolic prophet and leads a prophetic ministry. And this man's father is clearly 
not a man of the Lord, not a true man of Yahweh, through his son Yahweh Shai. Because the secrets of the Most High was not given unto him, nor those of his like that are of this world, that are false prophets. Rather, it was only given to the true men of Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai. And those men today are the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone on down to men of like mind. That I scatter here in America, which is Babylon the Great, prophesying against America, Babylon the Great, of our coming destruction and abroad. All right, the men that are scattered abroad. No. And this is what this man's father said. He said, No, said Pierce, who is based in Corinth, Texas. And notice that these Edomites, they have named certain cities and places and tongues after the names of ancient cities of antiquity in Greek, Greece and in Rome. Now this is what this man's father said, the Lord's the Lord's shown me through 2026, so I know this isn't the end of time. So this man's father responded to his question whether or not this is the end of the world by saying that the Lord showed him that through 2026 is when the world is going to end. So therefore, we're not in the end of the world. Now, that's utter madness, utter madness. And here's the scriptures to prove that. This is the book of Sirach. That's why the scripture says, a daily beloved tribe, your spirit, whether they be of the most high. And if they speak not according to this gospel, it is because there is no light in them. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 34, verse 1. The hopes of a man void of understanding are vain and false, and dreams lift up fools. So this man's father has been lifted up foolishly by a vain vision since he claims that the Lord has shown him that through the year 2026 is when the end of the world will begin. Not knowing because the Lord has not given him and revealed unto him the, the mysteries that we are in fact in, in the times of the end of the world, but the end is not yet. That is the difference. The end is not yet. Why? Because prophecies have to be fulfilled because Yahweh through Son Yahweh is not a man that he should lie. Okay? Now let's read on. Whoso regardeth dreams is like him that catcheth at a shadow. And clearly this man has regarded the dream that, the false dream that the Mosai has given him in, in a strong delusion that the end of the world is going to be in, a t in the year 2026. You see? It's like him that catcheth at a shadow. You can't catch it. You can't catch a shadow. It's your shadow, a, man, a, sh a man's shadow, follows him wherever he goes. Likewise, you know, a shadow of like, like a tree, for example. Once the sun comes up, you know, you'll you'll see the shadow. Or once light goes on, you'll see the shadow of the tree, right next to it, below it, on the surface. You can't catch a shadow. <laughs> And followeth after the wind. The wind blows wheresoever it listeth. You don't know where the wind is coming from. And you don't know where the wind is going to go. So. It would be foolish to try. To catch. Or to follow after the wind. It says the vision of dreams is like the resemblance of one thing to another. Even as a likeness of a face to a face. Right. You look. You go, in, you go in front of a mirror, you look at the mirror, you know, you're fixing yourself up, you leave, looking in one particular way, but the way you come back, you look completely different. And you won't remember how you looked, you know, before coming back. Or, and, or excuse me, of an unclean thing, what can be cleansed and from that thing which is false, what true can come. So that's pretty much the point. Well, actually, no, 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 it's locked here. There's more to it. 
It says, verse 5, divinations and soothsayings and dreams are vain, and the heart, which, which is the mind, fancieth as a woman's heart in travail. So the heart is going to fancy at a vision, at a dream. If they be not sent from the Most High, this is the key point that I wanted to get. If they be not sent from the Most High in thy visitation, set not thy heart upon them. For dreams have deceived many. And that's what has happened to this man's father. He has been deceived by a vain dream, by a vain vision. Okay? If they be not sent from the Most High, and it clearly wasn't sent from the Most High. It clearly wasn't of what's really going to happen in the future because he's saying that what the Lord showing me true 2026 so he sh the Lord showing him to a uh, true 2026 is when the end of the world is going to be and that is what a vain vision one that was not sent from the Most High. For, vision, for dreams have deceived many, and they have failed that put their trust in them. Right. And this guy clearly puts his trust in this vein, in, in, in his father's vain vision in which he had received. So I know this isn't the end of time. And that's clearly, clearly somebody that's spiritually dead. You know, they can't see what's, what's going on because their eyes are not opened. The worldwide upheaval caused by the fast spreading novel coronavirus pandemic has many people reaching for their Bibles. You see? Now people want to reach for the scriptures when things are going bad. But during the times when things weren't going bad, and their lives were all fun and laughter. They didn't care to even pick up their Bibles in which they would usually leave on their shelves to cobweb and catch dust. But now that things are evil, things are bad, now they're reaching for their Bibles. And some are starting to wonder, could this be a sign of the apocalypse? Well, guess what? It is a sign of the of the end to come okay it is a sign man and when I say a sign of the end to come I mean that it is a sign that our Lord Yahweh Shai is near because we are in the end but the end is not yet because prophecy has to be fulfilled and will be fulfilled man As a matter of fact, let's go to the book of Matthews, chapter 24, because people ask the question, could this be a sign of the apocalypse? Well, let's read the scriptures. This is what our Lord said. Same Matthew chapter 24, verse 3, And he, as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? What are the things that they were, were asking of? Of prophecy, of the end. And what shall be the sign of thy coming? Keyword, and what shall be the sign of thy coming? And of the end of the world. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. We see and we hear of wars and rumors of wars. Okay? For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. And we have been seeing these things over the past 
few years and more so over the past year, 2019, into this year, the year of prophecy. 2020 started off with the death of a top Iranian official, Qasim Soleimani, which sparked a great tension between Iran and the U.S., increased tension. And there's a lot of things that's going on right now that they're not reporting on the news. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and we see that. The EU and NATO is getting sick and tired of America. And there shall be famines, and we see that, and earth and pestilences, and, and don't we see that? The coronavirus? And not just the coronavirus, but different diseases that they're not reporting, reporting on the media as well. And earthquakes, we see that. That happens every single day. And has been happening more so, as I've said earlier, for the past year, into this year. And we also see the pestilences, the plagues of locusts. In diverse places, all over the world. All these are the beginning of sorrows. We see race wars, uproars of the people, people are rioting, people in a state of insurrection, people not listening to their government. All these things are, are, are signs that we are in the end, but the end is not yet. So what the heck Are you Christians talking about, man? This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, of what? Prophecy, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. And our Lord, Yahweh shall told us that in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter. Then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, and the end is manifest. We see that we are in the end of the world, but the end is not yet. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. So as the beginning of the world had wonders and powerful works, likewise, the end of the world ending will end in, in effects and signs, man. And the Lord has told us the signs to look out for and the signs of the things to come. Okay? Now let's go back to the article. It sure might feel apocalyptic, but not if you ask Christian writers and pastors who have spent years focusing their message on the, on the book of Revelation. Now, let's go to Isaiah 29. Because you see, this 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 is the thing with these Christians. They like to say, oh, well, it, the book has been sealed, man. That's sealed. No, man, it's opened to the true man of the Lord, but it's not open unto you. That's the thing. Well, let's finish reading all of that, and then we go to come to Isaiah 29. The New Testament's final book. It lays out a lurid, poetic version of the end times in which many evangelist leaders in interpret it to mean that they call him Jesus, but his true and only name is Yahweh Shai, will return to earth. Believers will be raptured to heaven and those left behind will suffer seven dreadful years of calamities. Seven dreadful years of calamities. That's off. That's wrong. So scriptures never say anything about those being left behind 
will suffer will suffer seven dreadful years of calamity. That was that was made up. That's a, that's another strong delusion that the Most High sent upon amongst these different pastors and, and evangelists, which call themselves prophets, man. Call themselves leaders. The Most High has poured out, poured upon in the spirit of deep sleep. As a matter of fact, let's go to that. And we come back to Isaiah 29. This is Isaiah chapter 6, verse what? Uh, 6, verse 8. Yeah, I saw eight. It says, And I heard the voice of the Lord, Lord Yahweh Bashimi Awashai, saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said, I, here am I, send me. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see indeed, and perceive not. Now, why is that? Why can't they hear and understand? Why can't they see? And perceive. Why? Verse 10. Make the heart of this people fat. Meaning make their minds fat. Make their minds heavy. So that, they, so that they cannot understand. Nor accept these words. And make their ears heavy. And shut their eyes. Meaning their spiritual eyes. At least they see with their eyes. And hear with their ears. And understand with their heart. And convert and be healed. So the Lord does not want two thirds of the nation of Israel to understand the secrets and mysteries of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Thus and Yahweh Shai. Okay? This is the book of St. John, chapter 12, verse 40. He had blinded their eyes and hardened their heart that they should not see with their eyes nor understand with their heart and be converted and I should heal them. So the Lord does not want two-thirds of the nation of Israel, especially their false prophets, to understand these words, th these mysteries, these prophecies. For the Lord had blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts that they should not see with their eyes nor understand with their heart and be converted and that he should heal them. Now let's go back to the book of Isaiah 29. This is Isaiah chapter 29, verse 9. Stay yourselves in wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken. They, they are drunken, but not with wine. And these people, and these different pastors and evangelists, they are drunken, but they're not drunken with the true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through Son, Yahweh Shai, which represents the wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. All right, because they're staggering over these different philosophies, over the philosophy of plantation Christian, of Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism. These people are drunk, and they're staggering with all these different philosophies. For the Lord Yahweh had poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and had closed your eyes. We read that in Isaiah 6. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, had he covered. That's why they can't understand the book, the book of Revelations. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. Oh, the book is sealed. The book of Revelation is, is sealed. We can't understand that book. Which men delivered to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot, for it is sealed. And this is exactly what they say. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. And why is that? Because unto them it is not given to know the secrets and the hidden mysteries of the Most High. Yahweh through Son Yahweh Shai. You see? That's why they can't get it. In which many evangelist, evangelist, evangel evangelical leaders interpret it to mean that Yahweh Shai will return to earth. And the book of Revelation does, does in fact tell us and prophesy unto us that the Lord will return to earth. 
But this is what these Christians believe. Believers will be raptured to heaven. And they believe that, oh, everyone's going to be saved. You know, everyone's going to be, you know, uh, you know, everyone's going to be levitated into the sky and just, you know, uh, vanish away. You know? Like, like, in, like in the movies, man. But the Lord said he's come back with a sword. And also, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? And that's referring to, to who? Two thirds, man. And to you heathens. And those left behind will suffer seven dreadful years of calamities. And that's absolute madness, man. It doesn't, where does, where, where is that in the scriptures? Most of these revelation focused prophecy, prophesiers don't see coronavirus as hurdling the second coming and the end of life on earth as we know it. You see, they don't know that this, that is just one of the plagues of, of the heavenly father that, that he's using to bring judgment upon two thirds of the nation of Israel. And to also show us that we are in, indeed in the end times, but the end is not yet. Because the coronavirus is, is, is a part of the plagues, part of the pestilences that we read about. It's not going to say coronavirus, but we understand that the coronavirus is a pestilence, it's a plague. Okay? Even if it was man-made, ultimately, it's of the most high. If a person were just com completely ignorant about what the Bible sa says about the end times, they may think this right now. This is it, said Jeff Kidney. And you want to know what? In this statement, he's right. Because the end is not yet, but even he himself doesn't, doesn't understand that. So it's kind of like a contradictory statement on his part. Because guess what? People will think that this is it. But they don't understand that the end is not yet. Why? Because prophecies still must come to pass and will come to pass concerning the mandating of the RFID market chip, which is the mark of the beast, followed by the third world's will. And then our Lord will make a second return. So right now we are in a time of Jacob's trouble. Okay? Pursuant to the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7. And during the time of Jacob's trouble, which will be a time like none other, many Israelites will die, man. And this is just the beginning. Because guess what? Esau or Eden will come down having great wrath. And that's 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 in the book of Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. And that's that's a part of the, the prophecy concerning Jacob's trouble. Second verse chapter 16, verse 72. They shall be like madman, spirit, and none. So you see, you so-called evangelic pastors and prophets and whatnot of, 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 of uh, plantation Christian uh, uh, Christianism. Of the church, you have no idea what you're talking about. You don't understand the scriptures. And Jeff Kidney, a writer of books on biblical prophecy who lives in Harrison Ark, Kinley said he understands why Americans might see this time of fast and roaching disease isolation from loved ones and crashing stock markets as apocalyptic why because these people don't understand they don't know and neither do you harrison ark it's like not harrison ark uh jeff kinley and if you are if you are an israelite you have a zeal but not according to knowledge and the most has blinded your eyes but if you are edomite forget it man if you're heathen forget it this wasn't given to you to understand you biblical scholars, you understand secular history, but you don't really and fully understand prophecy, biblical prophecies, man. 
Americans are primed to believe that believe the end of the world might arrive any day now. In 2020, 41% told New Research Center that they expect Jesus, which his name is not Jesus, man. I hate saying that word. His name is Yahushai. That's his true name. That's his only and true name, Yahushai, which means he delivers. Yah means he and Yahushai means delivers to return by 2050. Now, what the hell is wrong with you people, man? Looking that far ahead out. The scripture says that Esau's inward thought is that his houses shall continue forever. From generation to generation. We're looking to be delivered out of here as soon as possible, man. You think we want to be stuck in this man's kingdom for that for that longer? Are you, are you out of your mind? Your barnacles, man? Kinley pointed to Revelation 6 and 8, which forecast death, deaths all over the globe by sword, famine, and plague. And Yahushua's words about the events before the end times in Luke 21 and 11. There will be great earthquakes, famines, and pestilences in various places and fearful events and great signs from heaven. And we're seeing that. We read that in, in the book of Matthew chapter 24 earlier. We have, we have seen and we are seeing earthquakes, famines, and pestilences in various places. And fearful events and great signs from, from heaven. But our Lord said what? But the end is not yet. Because prophecy has to be fulfilled. Prophecy will be fulfilled. I think he's referring to a future time. See that? See? We, we, are, we are in that time, Kinley. Jeff Kinley. Kinley said, I don't think this is an actual fulfillment of that. This guy's a bug out, man. He, just, he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. He doesn't see it. He can't get it. So, hey. That's on him. But anyway, it says the Bible is very specific about what will happen before the end times, Kingley say, says. And those events haven't all unfolded yet. For one major thing, the, the ancient temple in Jerusalem is supposed to be rebuilt first. And that right there is the sign that this guy is brain dead. Because the temple, the third temple, which is a spiritual temple, has already been in the process of, of being rebuilt. So these guys are not going to get it. I'm not going to read on uh, any further. I'll, I'll stop here. And I'll leave this article in the description box, man. These, 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 these grape juice plantation, e-sauce drinking Christians are bugged the hell out, man. They don't have it. Anyway, I'm going to read this last scripture. Close the lesson, Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. Now remember what Yahusha said, the end is not yet. We are in the end of the world, but the end is not yet. Why? Because prophecy, there are some prophecies that still need to be fulfilled. Isaiah 55 and 10. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and make it, it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the, to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that I go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where it I sent it. So here the words of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Thus and Yahweh Shai, are being likened unto rain that cometh down, and snow that cometh down from heaven, and returneth not thither. They don't return from whence they came. They come down from the heavens for a purpose, and that purpose is to what? To water of water of the earth and make it it bring forth from bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. And so likewise the words of the Lord, once it is spoken, it will come to pass, and it will not return unto him void. It shall prosper in the thing whereto he sent it, whereto he pleases. Okay. And again remember, let's read it again one more time and in Matthew the twenty fourth chapter. Because this is very key to understand this distinction. We are in the end of the world, but the end is not yet. Okay? Because prophecies still, some other prophecies still need to come to pass. St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Okay?
So with that, I pray this lesson was edifying to the spirit and poverty. How about me? I was shy. About me, I To the elect, I say shalom. Till the next.